Okay, so welcome everyone. Thanks for coming. So we're going to start with a quick icebreaker. Um, so you can put your answers in the chat and you can answer as many or as few of these as you want to. Uh, but we would like to know your grade, what city you live in, what school you go to, any fun facts about yourself, or if you can't think of a fun fact, you can answer if you are a warm water or cold water type of person and why. Warm because you like the ocean. I like that. <laughs> nice. You like old water, Allison? Oh, no. That was <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not old cold <laughs> nice okay thank you guys for sharing um so before we get started i like to introduce myself i'm abigail i'm a senior at crondelet high school i'm currently the co-chair of slia and this is um, around my two and a half year mark of volunteering with Celia. And I'll turn it over to Allison, my co-chair. Hi, I'm Allison. As I said in the chat, I'm a junior right now from Heritage High School in Brentwood. And this pretty much marks my second year of volunteering. Oh, by the way, I'm the other co-chair. Yeah, I'll pass it off to Nina. Hello everyone. I'm Nina. I'm a junior at Camp Lindo High School in Moraga. Um, I'm the newsletter intern and I've been with Slia for around a year now and I'm definitely a warm water person. Hi everyone. My name is Eliana. I am the SCOCO staff member who works with Slia and we are going to tell you a little bit more about that right now. So Sustainable Leaders in Action, or SLEA, is the youth branch of Sustainable Contra Costa, and we were founded in July of 2020. Sustainable Contra Costa is a community of citizens, educators, innovators, and organizations working together for ecologically sustainable, economically vibrant, and socially just communities for all. Um, for our SLEA and Sustainable Contra Costa, or SCOCO partnership, um, SCOCO works with SLEA to promote sustainable practices within our community and provide leadership advancement and opportunities for the next generation of environmental activists. Okay, so we've already introduced ourselves, but a few of our interns um, at Sustainable Leaders in Action or SLEA are already here. And here's kind of like a brief summary of everybody else who couldn't make it. Um, you'll be seeing these interns along in the next couple of slides as well with their respective projects. And when you get more involved with SLEA, you'll be working a lot with these interns. So now we're going to go over some of our projects and committees that you can join as a volunteer. Okay, this is the newsletter committee. I'm the newsletter intern. And Basically, our newsletter team just puts together a great bi-monthly digital newsletter that we make from scratch. And we have volunteers write the articles we do, create art or little graphics using Canva, taking photos, and then people can also sign up to promote the newsletter and assemble the newsletter. So it's a lot of fun. And we usually have the newsletter centered around a environment or a sustainability theme at a local level. So. If you guys are interested in writing or doing art or graphics, I would definitely recommend signing up.
So one of our super fun programs are the Climate Careers Chats. Um, these are interactive online quarterly events um, that feature professionals from green related careers. Um, this is a special SLEA program because SLEA is able to work on every step of making this program and putting this program on. Um, so SLEA members often have a big say and a lot to do with finding panelists or thinking of topics that might be interesting for you. Um, and then going through the whole process of planning the event, promoting it, and then um, putting it on the day of. Okay, and then I kind of spearhead our policy and action committee. And in this committee, we work with a variety of different organizations who are sustainably oriented or environmentally oriented. And we kind of tackle bigger issues that might need policy action. And so one of our biggest projects we've been working on in the last couple of years is no drilling Contra Costa. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically a project that's working to phase out existing oil and gas drilling in our communities around the county. And if you look at the picture on the bottom, that's actually like a rally we held in support of this project about a year ago in March, about right now. And we kind of, it was amazing. We worked with all these different kind of organizations. We partnered with a bunch of schools. We had a lot of people there and it was a really good time. And it was just like something that showed like kind of the power of our policy in action. And if you're interested in public commenting at like city council meetings, working with other advocacy groups, collaborating with local government and really cool people, really take a moment and think about joining policy because it's a really cool opportunity and you meet a lot of interesting people. Cool. Um, so one of or Sustainable Contra Costa's main project is the Cleaner Contra Costa Challenge. And this is a free online platform with over 80 actions, um, all relating to different categories. So um, water conservation, energy efficiency, waste, um, and you're able to get a lot of information on how to do these actions. You can actually see um, the reduction of your carbon footprint once you um, like log your actions and give the platform a little information about like your habits and what you do at your home. Um, and it's a really great project. And this is one that Slia and Skoko um, collaborate on too. Okay, so this is the action of the month. I'm just going to explain it for a little bit. Um, each month, our SLEA volunteers participate in an action of the month, which is from the earlier mentioned Cleaner Contra Costa Challenge, and they help their community become more sustainable. And this action can be anything from saving energy to reducing water or like using lower drip shower heads, but they're usually very simple and easy to implement in your home life, so they're very helpful to do. And then we also have clean teams, and these teams are led by clean team leaders that have the opportunity to get together a group of community members or friends and complete the action of the month to help earn points for the group on the challenge leaderboard. And it's just a fun competition that you guys can get involved in if you want to further your experience in the action of the month sector. Oh, and then clean teams. Did you also go over that one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, communications and graphic design committees. Um, we are always looking for new graphic designers to help create digital materials. Um, these are usually made through Canva and there are some examples to the side right there. So it's a variety of a lot of different things, um, but there's a lot of opportunities to help get involved here. And there's no previous experience needed to join and we create graphics in most of the projects within SLEA, especially promotion graphics or graphics that um, are featured here. And we have a communications intern, Rohan, and our graphic design intern, Karina. So definitely get involved with this one. So SLEA's newest project is fundraising. For the first time, we have a team that is entirely dedicated to creating, planning, and carrying out SLEA-specific fundraising events. 
Um, recently in February, we had our first event, which was the Trashathon, which was kind of like a run or walkathon if you've ever done one of those at school. But instead, it was all about collecting trash and raising money while doing so. And it was super successful. So we're looking forward to planning more of those in the future. So now we are going to go over some of our volunteer responsibilities. Yes. So if you're wondering maybe why should you join SLEA, why should you commit time? So there are quite a few different reasons, but one of the biggest that we see all the time that people join for is volunteer hours. So whether this be for like any like other clubs like NHS or CSF, anything that needs volunteer hours, any any work you do at SLEA accounts for those. Additionally, SLEA also offers a variety of different intern positions every year, and they always open up. So we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of that in the next couple of slides. And the only requirement to apply for one of these intern positions is to volunteer with us for at least two months before applying. So it's a really good opportunity. And because of kind of those two benefits, like volunteering at SLEA is also great for colleges and any future experiences because it's really like a community where you get to learn and interact with a bunch of different people and you make a lot of new relationships and you meet people from all over the county which doesn't seem that I guess diverse but once you really start like knowing people it gets really really special. So as a volunteer, you would have a few responsibilities. One of the biggest ones is that you are required to complete the action of the month every month. And this involves signing up for the Cleaner Contra Costa Challenge and posting about what you did to complete the action on our SLEA community tab on that platform. We also ask that you attend general body meetings, which are twice a month around an hour long. And currently they are Thursdays at 8 p.m. The meeting times will often change based on the time of year. For example, during the summer, we'll send out a form to our members asking if they would like the time to sit day the same or change. Um, we also ask that volunteers join at least one committee and attend the check-in meetings for that committee whenever they can. However, there are no set volunteer hours and everything is determined by how involved you want to be. So you can join just one committee or you can join multiple. But if you need a signature for volunteer hours for school, you can contact the chairs and they can have a Skokal member sign off on those hours for you. We also have a variety of internships and positions available at SLEA. We have our chair or chairs. Some years we will have a vice chair. We also have all our project leader interns, including the Climate Careers Chat, newsletter, communications, which includes two public relations interns and a graphic design intern, our fundraising and our Cleaner Contra Costa Challenge intern. We also have our clean team leaders, which are not interns, but they are a very vital part of SLEA and our team. Okay, so that was kind of all of the information we have for you guys about SLEA for today. So it kind of was a lot of information. If you feel overwhelmed, don't be. If you have any questions about any of the projects, committees, we're all here to answer it for you. So if you have any questions, either type it in the chat or unmute right now. Okay, so one of our first questions in the chat is how can we apply? So to apply for intern positions, they typically open up around the beginning of summer when the school year ends. So we can start preparing for the next kind of, I guess, year of interns. And so what this works is that once you join SLEA's kind of Discord server, which we'll get into later after this meeting, um, about how you can get into how we communicate with each other, we typically release an application that details all of the requirements, everything that you need to know about becoming an intern and how to apply. And we typically just ask, I think, we just ask for like a resume and a cover letter about why you apply. And then we go into like an interview process. Um, so yes, that's how you can apply for the intern positions. Any other questions? Did you mean how to apply just for SLEA? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For volunteering, you don't even have to apply at all. If you... Um, 
if you get onto how we communicate, which is we do everything on Discord, once you get onto our Discord server, we basically like walk you through everything. Attending the GBMs can help you find more opportunities to kind of get involved with this event and that event. But if you want to join a committee, we'll be putting you guys in contact with the interns as well after this. And there will be a form out there floating around for you to kind of put which committees and what you want to volunteer for as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So that was all of the questions we had for today. So moving on onto the next portion is that we want to kind of do like a fun kind of like game today to kind of finish off our recruitment event. So we have a Kahoot plan for you guys. Don't worry, it's just a kind of quick Kahoot about like, you know, all the information we covered and there's a few little tidbits in there that could be interesting for you guys. Um, Just as a, well, we could actually do it as an actual game since there's less than three people if we want. Okay, let's do that. Do y'all want to do a Kahoot? Do you want to like text into it and do the whole, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, actually, play it now. I think. Oh. Oh wait. Um, Plot, are you planning on playing too, or should we, should we continue? Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, for sure. Hey, in the meantime, what has sounded the most interesting, um, about, the most interesting thing about Slea that you've heard so far? I'm curious to know. I think everything was pretty interesting, to be honest. I can't pick a favorite because, like, they're all really, like, they're all different, you know? That's, that makes us all so glad to hear it. <laughs> if you can't tell by our super big smiles for that. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a really fun, uh, it's a fun thing. Cool. We can start here. It totally is. Oh, okay, cool. You guys got it right. <laughs> But we do actually, we have worked with all of the other um, organizations that were listed there. This one's a trick question because we haven't actually showed it yet, so. <laughs> hmm. 
Yes, it is sustainable X leaders. So go and follow it. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, now that you guys have gotten it wrong, maybe maybe you guys will remember in the future. <laughs> Personally, I think it is yellow for sure. I was gonna say by the creek. <laughs> I wish that would be pretty cool. But Who no, we do that? host all of our meetings on Zoom. Um, but most of our like text messages and everything are in Discord. Yes, but to be fair, a lot of Slia does live on Discord, so <laughs> you're not entirely wrong. This one's really hard, guys. Yes, we love some tree hugging, but that is not a formal committee here. Ooh, that was quick. That was good. Dang. Ooh, answer streak. Nice, nice. Two months, that is correct. Oops, I forgot to mention this one. My bad. <laughs> the image was on the slide, though. So. <laughs> I did think about that. Local schools is a good guess, and so is. And it also makes sense that we'd work with SCOCO, but we actually do partner with the Contra Costa Library for our Climate Careers Chat. Yeah, and we get to work with the librarians, and all of, all of our information gets sent out to everyone with a library card. So it's very cool. And I definitely forgot to mention that. So <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> Get one action at a time that was a good name I love they that were one. these are so funny <laughs> yes cleaner contra costa challenge is the platform that we use try saying that 10 times fast it's really hard okay ali in the leads Hey, cool. Good to know you guys are interested. Um, if you guys get involved like ASAP, you guys will have those two months for when um, the internships open in June. Yes, it's the perfect time right now to get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also just a poll to gauge your feelings like the last one was. I do love this music. <laughs> it's also, also, by the way, answering any of these questions does not make you like, you're not like signing the contract. You can always change your mind or go to more, more committees in the meantime. That's true. Ooh, get to policies, careers chat, clean teams, ooh, ooh. some graphics. Ooh. Okay, cool. And let's see who won. No one in third. <laughs> nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for playing that with us. I hope that um, helped you guys remember some of the info about Celia. Um, thanks so much for listening so intently during the presentation like that's great <laughs> yes and so now that we've kind of finished the entire slides 
now the Kahoot game. Now we're kind of nearing the end of our recruitment event today. So there are quite a few ways to get involved. First one is one of those trick questions on our Kahoot. You didn't know it before, but now you know. Our Follow us on Instagram at SustainableXLeaders. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to email us at sleeasustainablecoco.org. Also, when you get more involved with SLEA, if you ever have any questions, never hesitate to reach out to any of the interns or to me and Abigail or even Ellie. We all can answer your questions. And in order to become like an official, official SLEA member, um, there's a quick Google form. It's really quick. It's like five or 10 questions. And it's really just like gauging like where you want to do, like what kind of committees you want to join, like why you join, that kind of stuff. It's really, really quick. So once you fill out this link, you become pretty much an official SLEA, in, like SLEA volunteer. And you can also learn more about SLEA if you're more interested at our website, which is our link tree right here. And then we kind of have like this other section of today's event where we kind of want to go over the checklist that volunteers are required to go through.